Hello, BigTubers! It is me, Epic Ethan, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a whole bunch of news. An official One Piece game, which is out right now, Anime Vanguard's getting delayed, and when we're gonna be seeing RelC's release date. And there will be timestamps for you guys to skip around if you don't want to see a certain part of the video. But let's get into it. Now, the biggest piece of news that we have today could spell the end for Roblox One Piece games, and this, of course, is Roblox x one piece before everyone starts freaking out there's some things that we need to know first and the first is that this game is on the one piece live action which um who wanted this but the second thing which is the most important game fam is not involved in this game game fam owns the rights to my hero academia on roblox they were the ones that took down anime fighting simulator x and anime adventures mainly because game fam is just overall a horrible company who has gotten into many controversies over the past few years. And this game is actually out right now. So if you want to play and see how absolutely terrible it is, I have it linked in the pinned comment. I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys think they're going to try and ruin everybody's fun, or do you think that they're actually going to be cool? Our next piece of news is about Anime Vanguard otherwise known as the best anime adventures remake if you guys watched my last video on this game then you would know that this game was supposed to release may 5th and uh there there's been nothing and that is because the game will not be releasing on that day which i think we all know by now the owner says that it will still be releasing in may and they'll make an announcement when they are 100 percent sure of a date and this is very respectable they obviously do not want to pull an anime clash because we all know how that turned out let's just go over all of the sneaks that i didn't talk about in my previous video now the first thing that we have are titles so far there's shadow monarch which is rewarded to players who evolve Jin Wu, system architect which is rewarded to players who obtain all souls leveling units the next title is fan which is awarded to players who joined the roblox group then there's plunder rewarded to players who killed 10,000 enemies in total and then vip rewarded to players who bought vip and the title is displayed above your username and below the levels and the titles will be visible when you send a message in chat then we have cosmetics which already loving how they're doing this instead of needing to all this stuff where you have to equip the unit in your first slot so you can get its cosmetic you can just press the equip cosmetic button and it'll equip the cosmetic only some units will get cosmetics either evolved mythical units secret units or other special units the designs for the cosmetics are not finalized and there will be more cosmetics on release and they also won't be laggy. This game will also be adding confirmations when rerolling traits, which is actually something that I suggested in my video. And again, this is a very clean system. The only thing that I think they should do is add a thing that's like, are you sure you want to reroll off this trait if you get something mythical? Which I don't think this guy ever did, but I just hope they add that. And even though they probably didn't get the idea from my video, who would be able to disprove that they didn't? <laughs> This confirmation only activates when you try to roll off a legendary or mythical trait, so you don't roll off high rarity traits. It's just a small quality of life thing, but it'll go a long way. Next up is the reworked Esdeath model. The top is the shiny, and the bottom is the non-shiny, and I think they did a really good job. I really like the texturing, it's very detailed, and it still looks really good in-game. We also have this UGG effects, and with UG being my favorite main character, I really like how this looks. And now our final Sneak, Egress, the Blood Red Commander. The Egress fight in solo leveling was one of the best animated fights I've seen. And my god, he looks so good. I'm going to be grinding my cheeks off for this secret unit. And then his evolution is when Jin Wu uses his Arise on him. God, it looks so good. And scratch that, we actually have a few more sneaks. The first one is a fully reworked Jin Wu, and before he looked amazing, but now he looks even better. The little details with Fatal Strike popping up right before he does the attack, and just all the effects look so good. We also have the double dungeon map, which, you know, it's pretty basic, but it does look very clean. And the final thing is the UI change. It's fairly small. All they really changed was the icons for each button. This dev team is cooking so good and i am so excited for this game's release our next piece of news here is going to be for rel c's we'll be talking about the rel c's final teaser which released over one month ago 
I'm very late. But first things first, they show off the main menu, which looks very clean. I especially like the fighting in the background. It just makes the menu look even more visually appealing. They then show off a new character UI, which I think is a huge improvement over the last UI, because the last one kind of looked like it was made out of Microsoft Paint. And then they show off the hidden devlog sneaks. There is just a whole treasure trove of information hidden in here. I'm not gonna go through it all because that's gonna take a lot of time. And we got a sneak peek of what boss fights are gonna be like. And right now, this isn't looking the best. It is very, very slow, but they are still working on a lot of things and are taking feedback from the community, so these boss fights should most likely be better on release. All bosses also have unique attack patterns, so each one will be doing different moves and not just like the same hit, smack, smash down. You'll also be able to take your daggers out and slide down walls, which is just such a cool small feature and gives more of an RPG feeling. But now we're getting into M1 combat in Devil Fruits. We first get a look at the Smoke Fruit, which I'm not gonna lie, looks pretty freaking good. Like, they actually gave the Smoke Fruit some sauce. Then we get to see the Love Fruit. The VFX and animations look really cool. Then we get a look at the Bomb Fruit, I think. Which, again, they somehow managed. Overall, what we got to see from these three fruits was really cool. We then get to see Hiei in action, and so far this is probably the second or third best fruit that we've seen. But now the final message of the final teaser, we're working towards finalizing a lot of the game. Other than focusing on finalizing effects, we are ensuring the functionality of having a smooth working game that incorporates not just abilities with combat, but cohesive gameplay spanning from PvE to PvP content. They're working towards a release date as we read this. And this was a month ago, so we could be getting a release date by this month. And I would not be surprised if the game ends up releasing sometime in the summer. But both of those are just shots in the dark. On Twitter, the Rail Bros also give us this information. The final teaser was given and Movie 2 is near. Movie 2 will announce the release date of the game. We're enjoying the journey of game development being open with the community instead of gatekeeping and inspiring developers along the way. So yes, we are finally nearing the announcement of the release date. It could happen this month, it could happen next month, we don't know, but I am so freaking hyped. Alright guys, now that is going to be it for this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed because I really like this type of video. It's inspired by 3C Films movie news videos, which I really enjoy, so I want to try doing that for Roblox anime games. I only wanted to cover three things in this video, but if this video does good enough, then I'll make another one with even more game news. This video is kind of just like a test run, and I want all your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.